Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris under the admin cap. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 12. It's the year 2459. And we are embroiled in a war in heaven and the Prethoran Scourge has exited in. As we left off last episode, it seems like the the zealots coming in here, the Zeron zealots, are more of a threat than they in Scourge right now, and they have three very big fleets, four very big fleets up here. And we have combined fleet power about 240,000, so we could take each of these on one by one and probably be okay. But if any of them get clustered up like these two right here, we're probably getting smashed. So we're going to try very carefully to get our fleets in position and get them up here. We have three fleets here ready. I'd kind of like to get this fourth fleet over there. I have an available commander for it. Is the other one better? This is daily, it should pull points in daily hull region. Let's choose him instead. Upscaling complete. And uh, let's see, it's making ships, I believe. Yes, our shipyards are busy making all the ships to get that fleet up. It's making a Titan, so that's why it's taking a long time. But with four of those fleets, that'll give us about um, <clears throat> a little better than uh, 300,000 total. So we might stand a little better chance. Upscaling complete. So while we're waiting for the ships to get ready, get built, shipyards together upscaling we're complete. going to do this move some pops around give them jobs trying to maximize our empire here oh there's a ruler that's unemployed well we can't really do anything with him now that to crab colony. I don't think we can do anything with them because the, the planet size. Yep, if you move any more people, they'll run out of... they'll lose this last building slot. So, hey, research finished. Good. Naval capacity plus 20 or starbase capacity. These are the two things I really want to work on. Since, I, since this turn, it's not going to give us admin capacity. We are currently at... Um, Empire Sprawl, 303 of 245. We got some systems granted to us that we didn't really want, but, you know, don't have a choice. So, naval capacity, that helps. Armor is still going to help for Prithor and Scourge. And then we'll go back here to Tycab and we'll see what we can do about uh, Upscaling complete. making things a little bit. So, declare population controls. I always hate it when they turn on the, the stop droid thing. Zoom robot assembly. We don't have any robots on this planet, so there's nothing to assemble. Upscaling complete. But Colonial let's Enterprise upsizing. What do we have here? We have a bunch of rare crystals. So we could do that. We could do this. And that might be enough to give them some more jobs. This planet's kind of in the same boat. Uh, well, no, we actually could move some of these populations off. But what might be better. This was their home world, I think, from the looks of it. Um, I think what might be better is doing some things like this. Let's give them commercial zones to provide amenities. Uh, the amount of food that's being worked on this planet probably isn't necessary, so we can do some of that. Make out the minerals. Make that building. What else do they have? I didn't, I didn't mean to upgrade that. I wanted to look at replacing it with something else like a Galactic Stock Exchange. There we go. So we'll want to go get that trade in that area. Upscaling complete. After a while, maybe if we don't. We'll see. The big thing is we're going to have to take these guys on. And to take them on, the uh, there's a gateway right there. So if we go through and crush those guys, now that means this fleet's going to come over here immediately afterward. There's also a gateway here, and there's one fleet there right now. So as they move around, we have to pick our gateway, kind of, and uh, try to figure out how we want to approach that. So let's look. 
Shipyards are done. This is 180 of 190. We're going to move these guys up here at the same time, and then we're all going to go through the gateway together. And this is probably going to make or break this episode. We're either going to be able to go in here and crush these guys, or we're very That's quickly going to get crushed ourselves. So. We're going to hope and pray. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make sure that we have all our edicts on, which we do. Nothing else we can really do. Um, we picked our last Ascension for a Galactic Contender. We would have to wait for some amount of edicts to get some of these in. I don't think there's one here that's going to help us when we're on uh, enemy ground. Desperate measures. Ship build speed. That would help. Home territory fire rate is plus 40%. That's not going to help us a whole bunch here. So Let's see. We have all four of those fleets ready to go. We have that ship there, that ship there, that ship there, and that one there. Okay. And we have a gateway right there. Now we can... We could make this a little easier on ourselves. By going through this gateway first and hitting that fleet. So we're going to do that. Actually going to send everybody right there. <laughs> Because he's a small fleet, and if we can take him out quickly, um, it gives these guys a, a two distance, two jumps away before they can catch us. So if we can get everybody over here. So as soon as they all say they're at aggressive stance, we can pop them over. Let's go take care of that. Competitors engaged. Manor decompressor extraction. Okay, let's go take a look at that real quick. While well, this is in the middle of that effort. So the matter decompressor is done, producing 2,000 minerals now. Okay, we got some debris. How did we do for ships? We lost a few ships. So let's get everybody back up and we need a science ship to come over there take that we'll do this survey system no experiment no there's no way to reach this system why not uh, who can get over there research projects and system okay where are you at hey, clown oh you're right there can you uh Explore that wormhole and tell me where it goes. And the problem is going here to the center is going to allow those guys to jump us and those guys both to jump us, so kind of want to be at uh, full strength. I want to make sure that these guys are up to 180, 180, 180. Across the board, and then we'll make Upscaling our move. Complete. So, what did that say? Where does that one go? It was way up here to that spot. Hmm, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Way over here in the Zeron Zealots land, so that's nice. Um, is there any way for you to get back home? Experimental subspace navigation. So we'll do that. How are we doing? They're cranking out ships, and the ships need to move. I guess the best complete. thing for us to do here would be to move closer to this gateway so that our ships can go through there faster. And we'll park everybody right over here. Close to the, the edge. The war in heaven. We want to be on the winning side, and so in order to do that we need to go crush these guys. And the, the Zeelan Zealots are, uh, are killing us, so the math and regulators are 
small and uh, we need to go crush these guys. In addition to crushing them, the Praetorian Scourge is also doing some crushing, so maybe we can make a dent here. That's kind of my hope. Getting there, how many more ships we got on the way? We got two, got a couple of little ships, little uh, corvettes, little destroyers, little destroyers. It's really hard for me to be patient, but I really think that even one destroyer might make a difference, so. We'll do that, and I'm not going to, you can see that I'm at 180 out of 190 on these fleets when they get full. I'm not going to go to 190 because that, to do that would be just like a cup of Corvettes. I'd rather wait until we get the boost from research analyzed. next and uh, be able to add another battleship to each of these fleets, so. Okay, we're at 178, 178, 178. 180, 180, 180, 178. There, we're waiting for one more straggler. Where is it? Is it anywhere? I don't see it. Okay, I think this is what we're gonna have to go with. Um, Upscaling complete. This is gonna be tough. And they've got a 27k defense platform there. These guys have a 27k defense platform there. They're 186, they're 187, and they're a big one at 219. So let's get everybody over here. Unless there's a back way for us to come station around. Engaged. Which I'm not sure there is. Let's see if this gets anybody to move. Okay. Here they come. And then what the about them? Enterprise yep. And those, there goes those guys. So now we're probably going to get crushed. We're gonna have to defeat both of these fleets really as hard as we can. They both came after us as soon as we went to that middle one, and I knew they would. Okay, okay, and we didn't lose too many ships again. Oh, we lost quite a few out of that fleet though. Perak's Armada took a hit. Okay. Well, that means we have to do it. We have to tell these guys, update. Update your fleets, send us your peoples. So in that case, because we're making so many alloys, I mean so many minerals, we're going to have to do more with the alloys. So let's get these ships built. I could really use one more shipyard, couldn't I? And I'm 17 of 18 right now. So let's look, can we put another shipyard somewhere close by? Somewhere close to, well, let's see. Yeah, that's our best spot right there. This is a star base because of this. Right there. It might be more beneficial to turn this into a shipyard right now instead of having it as a bastion because the way that you, you gotta ad adapt to the game, you know. End of the democratic post jock systems, that's not good for them. Um, Research actualized. Energy weapon attack speed, great. Dark matter reactor. Well, since considering that we've already done some of the research on it because we pulled that from uh, our science ship, Jeez, you guys need housing really bad, don't you? See, having food on this planet's not a good idea. Let's do that. Give you guys some more jobs with uh, something else. Oh, Galactic Stock Exchange. Sounds good. And I have one of those on every planet. Now, we're not collecting the trade from here yet, but we can end up doing that. Okay, so here comes another fleet. The Skulkers, they're probably on their way. Or they're just hanging out. I don't want to take on this 219,000 fleet until we have full capacity, which we just don't have right now. So I'm just going to wait for our shipyards. What's this shipyard doing? Where's it at? Why are you not kicking out any ships? Why are the other shipyards doing all the work? 
Research actualized. Uh, I guess they're not doing all the work, but doing a lot of it. Naval capacity, great. Let's go for fleet command limit plus ten because I want to have I want to be able to add a battleship to each one of those fleets. And then uh, once we've done that, we can kind of start to spread out here, it looks like, and go after these guys, start to conquer some of this. We're going to have to just go conquer for, for our particular fleet side. Zero and Zealots have another big fleet over there. We're going to have to be aware of where they're at with their big fleets. We're going to have to be ready to get back home quickly if we need to. Ziran Zealots, so their fleet power is still superior to ours right now. Oh, and... Okay, so you guys, you right there, do this. And then you can tell me where that wormhole's going. That is Zealot Madrak. And that has a gateway. I got an idea for this one too. Same kind of thing, shipyard. I'm just gonna do this. Because um, I want to be able to make as many ships as quickly as possible and get my fleets continually upgraded. This one was going to collect what? Oh, this one was gonna, yeah, this was also gonna be a shipyard. I'm just gonna create a bunch of shipyards. Upscaling complete. And so the planet that's doing the most good here, these guys, we need to upgrade those. We need as many of these making alloys as possible, so we might as well upgrade them all on this planet. Detritus analyzed. And in fact, I said I was running low on volatile modes, but I was going to replace these on other planets. So let's do this. Giant alloy factory planet. And then on other planets, we'll do things like put some chemical plants down to take that burden off. Hab C. This ring world. Agricultural signal. Or commercial signal. Oh, this is the ring world, right? I know what I want. Yeah, you want this. You want to make this a research ring world? This is, that's cool. So we got one of the ring world segments up. Combat detritus reprocessed. I've been paying for attention to that galaxy. very well. Completed ring world section. When we get back up to having enough goods, we'll get that second one going. So this is ring A. Research right. actualized. Dark matter reactor. Okay, energy weapon damage. Go for it. Fleet's looking 180. Um, we got some ship damage right there. We move all these guys to the closest star base. Oh, hey, what happened here? Zero and Zealots took that over. Okay. Oh. And what's over here? 180. Okay. Moving ships around here. Upscaling complete. We're gonna go attack these guys with what we have. Research actualized. Armor, dark manor thrusters. Yeah, let's grab those. Let's see about this whole thing. Oh, like void skulkers. Okay. Upscaling complete. We're gonna have to create an army. So let's start thinking about that. Um, Alpha Centauri. Let's see. What's our best armies here? We got a bunch of clone armies and xenomorph armies. So if we do this, 
I like to spread these out across the different planets because then they can all join together later. Just make the whole recruiting process just a little faster. should be enough and then when they're all done you just group them all together and send them on their way and it'll shorten it, it I like that better than having one or two planets that have that are responsible for it because it takes longer to recruit all those armies and we don't have time so let's see Pyrrhic Armada you guys need to get healthy What just came off? Education campaign. Alright, edicts. Yes. Education campaign. That's for our leaders. Healthcare campaign is pop growth speed. I don't really care about complete. that right now. For consumer goods, I kind of do though. Oh, here we go. Master's teaching. So we can do naval capacity plus 10% and army upkeep minus 15%. That costs me 100 influence there which is great and then we have the scientific revolution research speed plus 20 percent please do that let's get that going upscaling complete so let's go back here order restored on zone upscaling complete let's go keep checking out these stations Yes, 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 I know. We're maxing out. Okay, go take these guys out. Upscaling go complete. Go burn them. Very soon we're going to be able to choke this point off over here. Upscaling complete. Hopefully our allies over here, Mathens, will just take that over and we won't have to spend our troops on it. This is what I want to see. I just Upscaling want to see my complete. fleet just chow right in here. Ring A. Ringu. Let's see. Research. Okay, but first let's get a culture site on complete. there. And we can start moving a bunch of people while this is all going on. Recruitment of armies has finished. So all of our armies have finished recruiting. That's awesome. Okay, let's do this. Ring A. Where is it? Right there. We're going to move a bunch of people. We're going to pause the game and move a bunch of people. Unemployed workers. You guys are all going to be pushed into the lid, the labs. Beta Kelly, you've got some unemployed people. You know what? You can have that ruler because they're going to need them in a little bit. Takes care of most of that. Adar. Where is Adar? Oh. Adar and that. Okay. Adar has jobs. What? F. Adar has jobs. Although it says it has unemployed, it probably has what? An unemployed ruler or something that can't do anything. Let's take a look at this. Adar has. Let's see, we're gonna need food. This is almost a good planet to do it on instead of this energy stuff. Um, let's do this. 
We need one more of these cities. Okay. Ring A. Corporate culture site. We need commercial zones to create amenities. Probably two of them. And we can start building additional research facilities. Later on when it gets bigger. All right. Let's go look at our guys busting a move. There's this, the Zirin Zillots. 141,000, gentlemen. Select those little tiny ships because they're moving. There we go. I got just the four that I want. You guys ready? Are we fully repaired yet? We're not quite. We're getting there. All right. I like that. That's what I want to see. Okay. Can we go take these guys on? Let's go. Cowards, they're running. One big fleet. One big happy fleet. Alright, how big are they? They're 131. We can split our fleets up and go after them and try to conquer all this stuff for our side of the war. Or are they going to come back? Oh, yeah, they are. Never mind then. Everybody. Everybody. Everybody over here. They're coming. Let's just crush them now. It's a swarm of spore. We came out on the upper side of that. Great. Okay. Uh huh. job to do. Research that. Research that. Research that. And then research that. Give us all that good stuff. Research actualized. Dark matter thrusters. Okay. Let's get back on the uh, hit points. Okay, gentlemen. Hitting buttons here to tell everybody to upgrade. I'm gonna take two capable fleets and send them in this direction. Now where the zealot Zarin Zealots and powers of cooling, so they got three hundred thousand worth of fleets running around somewhere. Here comes there's the Prithorn Scourge. They're still doing their thing. In fact, they're coming over here too. There's the Yazvarn Principality. Okay. We're doing that stuff. We're seeing big fleets over here from the Zavarans headed in our direction. But their fleets are not gigantic. There, look. 15,000, 30,000. One of our big fleets could totally crush them. So, Research actualized. what we're going to do is the Alpha Centauri's shipyard. Let's start this with the build that. Fleet command limit. Great. Upscaling complete. Let's see. Omega Theory. Omega Theory technology. Weird. Okay, well, let's... Still don't know what that does. I haven't looked it up. Mutagen Merchant Guild was destroyed. Oh, poor guys. We may be able to take one of our remaining fleets here. Detritus analyzed. Research actualized. Like these guys. Upscaling complete. May be able to send them here to go conquer some of this. As long as they don't run into anybody that's too big for them, it'll be okay. Administration capacity good. We're still at 306 out of 245. Complete. We have a chance to get under that if we can get a little luck going on. 
so this is Han Conglomerate, okay. I just want to go grab all this space. Should probably split these guys up. Let's see what happens there. All of our edicts just came off. So let's do that. Detritus analyzed. Who's the big fleet that's staying? You guys, okay, are they, who's this? Myth and Regulators, good. They're going and they're kind of spreading out now. They got their own fleets. So that's good. That's good for them. They need that. We need their fleets to go back and take this over and for it to not be our job. Upscaling complete. Neither one of these fleets are too big for us to take. This, neither is that one. We got a chance to go in here and curb stomp these guys too, so. Let's try and do that. Upscaling complete. What do we have over there? The Praetor and Scourge is over there, running around. We got a Zirin Zealot fleets over here. Our guys getting ready to crush these guys. And some, uh, Emergency FTL casualties, fleet server casual ships lost. That must be a, a science ship that was. What what just happened there? What? What? Where is it? Upscaling complete. There's that fleet. This This is one of those situations where the fleet got completely destroyed because of no reason at all. We had superior numbers and everything and we got crushed. I guess. Maybe not superior numbers. They had what? And a huge I didn't see that, so that's my fault. I didn't see that. Bummer. Okay, well. Here, what you're gonna do is, yeah, you're gonna do that. I'm gonna need all my fleets then to take that node out. So when you're done, head back over there. These guys doing this bit of business. Let's go over there. War in heaven. Meth and regulators. Have to beat these guys and then we can worry about the Prithorn Scourge. The Zero and Zilla chip. We're gonna cut them in half here. What are you guys? Oh, you guys were, uh... I got you. You were about to join that fleet up here, and then they got their butts kicked, so... That hurt. Who's this? Prithorn Scourge. Yeah. yeah. They're coming in this direction. It does make me wonder if the smartest thing to do isn't just to switch my ships over and go after the Prithorn Scourge, but we were too close to having our side of the War in Heaven lose, so it felt like this was the smarter move for the long term. Upscaling complete. So you guys are back there on Soul. Okay. And yes, it's a deal. Dark matter reflectors, thank you, yes. Want those. Because that's what I want, is us to be fully upgraded to the same equipment that the Fallen Empires have, and then we can, uh, Get busy. Okay, we got 200 now. So we're gonna go into our fleets and we're gonna say, add, yep, add one of those. Add two more ships. So let's go with the Mega Cannons. And then one more cruiser. Same thing with these guys. Oink, oink, cruiser. Same thing with you. Add two more battleships. Boink. 
Doink. Cruiser. Actually, we've got Titans to be using the Titans. Go back over here and see what this said. Down that, down that. What's a Titan cost me? I add one? Yep. Okay, so let's go back over here. You get rid of that, that, add a Titan. And everybody has a Titan. Okay, start building there. Start building there. Oh, we need stuff. Gang Clash on Beta Cali. Oh my goodness. We'll buy some of these. Beta Cali's having gang clashes. Oh yeah, we gotta take care of some of our planets over here. Okay. Star bases, I'm not as concerned about, so I'm gonna minimize that for right now. Upscaling Where are these guys? complete. The Wasari Mandate. Alright. Let's go help the Wasari Mandate out. This fleet, I'm gonna name, rename, um, that might help me. They're, they're the, they're the, they're off doing their own thing. Upscaling Reclaim complete. ship fleet. Yes. Reinforce the fleet. So upgrade. Why don't you guys go there, and then head down there. And then let's pause for a second and take care of resettlements. Okay, who has a bunch of jobs? There has a bunch of jobs. Adar, or however you want to pronounce it. Doesn't matter. One is, there are people who need jobs. What do we have up here? We had another unemployed person and we had a ruler. Well, he's just gonna have to, he's just gonna have to be demoted. So Beta Cali, what's going on in Beta Cali? We have not enough jobs. Well, by the time we raise that up, that's gonna be six more jobs. Then let's do this. The crime is too high, actually. The crime is too high for this many people. So all we can really do is like take this off and replace it with, uh, and it's providing a lot of trade, but let's take it off and replace it with another precinct house. Let's go to decisions and say stop population growth. And then let's resettle. Let's turn that up. Let's resettle some of these people somewhere else, like the ring world. Cameron needs some more jobs. Um, what we really need are more Voltamotes, so you get this, buddy. The ring world is here. This needs a bunch of people to take these these extra jobs. We have five missing clerk jobs. In the meantime, now we can start building research labs. We can also build another one of these. These are great. They provide 20 housing and 20 jobs, so you really don't need to build city districts. You just build these and provide a ton of research jobs. I love them. They're like one of Upscaling my favorite things. Complete. So, I love Ring Worlds. Um, we didn't have to keep building ships right now. We could just keep on improving and making more Ring World. We don't have that going on right now. What is this? Who's this? This is the Zero and Zillets. They have a huge fleet over there. We need to take those guys on with the combined strength of our fleet. So, where are they going to go? They're going to go down through there and over in that direction. Okay. Which means you guys. Is there anything? No gateways over there.
Where's my other fleet? The Renegades are over here doing this stuff. They need to go here and crush this Yazavarni people. That fleet is sitting there, getting bigger than what I really need it to do. So again, come over in this direction. We're starting to lose a little bit of stuff here. These cost crystals to upgrade, so we're going to upgrade them to provide more jobs. The Habs are done. First three habitats, decisions, declare population controls. Zell Mada. Um, yeah, we're sitting <laughs> One of these. Adar was the food planet, right? Yep. And they're still having a problem with housing because of certain decisions here. They also need some uh, peacekeepers. So let's replace some things here to help with food. No, 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 no. We're making more than enough energy credits right now, so that planet right here, Adar, I want all of this energy stuff to switch over to food. So we're going to replace these with mostly ag districts. And then this other planet, Zell Tycab, can uh, fill the role of providing the consumer goods. Except right now it has to declare, declare population crosswalls on. Let's uh, do that. What did their fleets run off to? Zirin Zealots. Prithor and Scritch. Oh, those guys are maybe fighting each other? Yeah, hey, let's watch this. This will be fun. want to see this. Rep? That's funny. Who's going to win? Research actualized. Are they set up? To defeat the Prithoran Scourge? Oh, it looks like it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Upscaling complete. Dark matter deflectors for us. Omega alignment. Let's get all this Omega stuff out of the way. Research actualized. Hmm. I'm gonna go for kinetic weapon damage since we still have to fight all these fallen empires and stuff. These guys kind of ran off. What is this? This is Han Conglomerate. Prithorn Scourge is fighting these guys. The Prithorns are going to lose. Complete. And the Zirin Zealots are what's left. Okay, in that case, you two fleets, get back over here. Renegades, what are you guys doing? Yeah, go crush these guys. Also, Renegades. Let's see, you have a Titan. Command loads 200, you're just not fully upgraded yet. Okay. Good job. So, what's this? There's this, yeah, sorry, fleet. Go over here and crush them. War in heaven. Hey. Research actualized. Alright, we're back to this. Energy weapon attack speed or energy weapon damage, they're both the same. Prithoran Scourge. Research actualized. Administrative capacity, yay! Okay. Uh, naval capacity, I guess. Let's do that. Order restored on Adar. You guys, what are you doing way up there? Oh, get over here. Upscaling complete. And you guys, yep, you're headed over there. Good. Who is this? Zeran fleets. More Zeran fleets. All right. Who's over there right now? You guys go crush these guys. We have to get up here and completely stomp this part. 
and then I think uh, we can start to make a dent in them and get all this and which reminds me we have all of these fleets here so we're gonna tell them all to go to Lando we may actually end up needing them these guys. Let's go get them. And what is this Zarin Zealots? They have this little space over here. We have to crush that. So be it. I'm going to get the second ring world construction started because I have some alloys right now. And we're not in panic build mode for ships. And what's this one? Beta Corby, how transmission we are freedom fighters former slaves from the han conglomerate where we suffered much abuse under the oppression of chief executive officer lakitrak long admire your your egalitarian standards the stark enterprises way as we would refer to it back home and we share your values would you succeed we have succeeded and wish you to be a part wish to be a part of your nation if you will have us join us here okay so Becomes new owner of the Viral Chakra and Stark Enterprises. Becomes the new owner of Hez Station. Han Conglomerate will be notified that we have accepted their former slaves. Be at last modifier. Sure. We're, we're, we're egalitarian, so that's what that means for us. But this system right here has 7k. We can crush that with this fleet. Go get him. Go get him, Tiger. Birth of Space Piracy. Starbase under assault. Where is it at? Can't be. At it. It's not anywhere immediate for us, so. Go kill these guys. Just go kill them. Red line, That's here we go. And we got that guy, great. Okay, go down here. Kill this, and then go kill that. Because Reptorex has 512. We can crush that really easy. So then, that's captured. Now let's hope that our guys can hang on to it, because here comes the Praetorian Starblood. How'd you guys get past them? Oh, so there's the Praetorian Scourge right there. I don't really care about them. They're not important. So if they take some of this Han conglomerate, I don't really care. It's not my place to deal with it. Zero and Zillots with their little tiny fleet up there, they're about to go get crushed. Extra crushed. We have this, we need to sell. Spend some of it on this. And let's take a look at some here. What's this fleet down here doing? We have their 10,000, and that's a small one. Go. What's this? Kelazan, go there. Go crush that. And then, uh, gosh, 
gosh, I just had a train of thought and I was thinking about something and lost it in my head. I wasn't saying it. One of those trains of thoughts that just in and out. Oh, I know what I was thinking. This other fleet down here. These guys. All right, this is Hisnax Armada. We're going to, how many Titans do we have? Two of four? Okay, then we're gonna do this. So we're gonna fill this up, buttercup. And then I wanna make sure I have point defense class, kinetic class, armor home class. Point defense from there, and some Corvettes. Esky flies, I like to call them. Esky flies to keep everybody busy. One more pesky fly. All right. Don't have enough for you to do your whole fleet right now, but go for it. I'm going to give you that later. Okay. Guys are headed back. I really don't. I, Zero and Zillets. They have a two hundred thousand fleet now. Jeez, really? Oh man, and here they come. Okay, guys, this is going to be our hour of glory. Then. This is going to be it. We got to do it. Um, I'd like to see everybody repaired before we go do it, but we're not going to have that opportunity. That's the thing I was thinking about right there. Where is that at? Where is our ship? Oh, it's way over there. Okay, I'm not so worried about that. Do we have a science ship that can get over there? Maybe. You guys, go crush this. And what is this? This is Yavonar, and we can crush them too. Research actualized. Great. Weapon damage, armor, hit points. You go over here. I'll take him out. I keep forgetting that we have that fleet down there, the Renegade fleet. Yeah, everybody get over here. We're gonna have to go kill these guys with our fleet. With our three fleets. Goldilocks. The three bears. Here come the three bears. Enough to do it. If we could do it, take that fleet out. Where does that put us? Good powers of cooling. Mm, that might be a significant chunk for them. Meanwhile, Upscaling the math and regulators seem to be making some progress over here. So that's good. I can see them running. I see them running like the cowards they are. This is a colony that we acquired. Okay, I can see the problem here. Favorable conditions. Optimize the construction workflow, increasing the build speed significantly. Make the structure build speed at. That speaking of which, do we have yep. Architectural Renaissance lets us build faster and one more additional thing there. That's nice. Okay, cool. In fact, where are we with? Ring section. This is the science nexus. That's the matter decompressor. Aren't we going to build a Dyson sphere somewhere? Yep, and it's right there, and we just need to upgrade it. Okay. Research actualized. Enable capacity, admin capacity, because we're now at 325 since we got this colony that I don't really want, but whatever's. I decided to. This is one of those planets that uh, will make a good food planet. Make it an egg world, and we'll see what happens over time here. A lot of free at last. Okay, stability plus 20%. Well, increased benefits and luxuries distributed. Governor Tig has died on Earth. 
Let's see if we can recruit someone who's decent in the unity from jobs. So. Take that. And over here at Beta Cali, their governor died, and we didn't get notified of that one. Not food from jobs, we'll go for leader experience gain. Frontier sector doesn't really isn't really a sector. We could put these two under a particular sector. A trick, what is this? This is tie cab. Okay, so we we'll do this. Just give me food. <coughs> Sell as many minerals as we can so we can buy these. Okay, what do we have? We got three guys up here. Detritus analyzed. There's the big fleet right there. And there's what? Research Droning actualized. void sculptor skulkers. Let's just go kill them first. New G with the text. We got. We're gonna go kill them first, knock them down. Nope, 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 you can't have that. We're gonna go back over here. So we're just gonna go up there then. Cause that has what? Has 1.5k, that's easily crushed. What we got going on? What do we have down here? We have our little fleet helping the way. Right there. Okay. Do that, and that should help. What's down here? Punks, and what's over here? More punks. Okay, you guys should be good to go for a while. The zealots. If only we could crush them. So what is it now? War exhaustion. Their exhaustion is about to be done. Ours is doing really good, so. Where did those guys run off to? Where did they run off to? Just what, somewhere up here? What is this? Pythorn Scourge Space. <laughs> did they go through that wormhole? Could be. You can't get there. Oh, because you said to evasive. But tell me where that wormhole goes. Fleet of the Damned. Yeah, you guys need to keep spreading out. Conquer them, will you? Where is my little side ship over here? Go get this. It's war. It's war and it's kind of crazy. But we like crazy. We just don't like losing five all to moats per turn. That's what we don't like. So let's do that. Let's fix some ring world. Oh, you still, you still not uh, producing. Oh, you have a ton of. Oh, nobody's taking any of the clerk jobs. Okay. In order to fix that, then what we'll do is hold the others, so that we can guarantee. Because the, there's so many other open jobs that the clerk jobs are last, and I don't want to reprioritize the clerk jobs to be first. So we're gonna stop this real quick and we're gonna pause so that we can send people to ring world for jobs take care of some of our unemployment this is the thing about war is i tend to not worry about my unemployment which is why i really like playing with that um, automatic pop migration mod when i'm playing more of a wide warmonger uh, really fits 
I still, I still kind of can't believe that it's not just part of the base game. That you need a mod to make it work. It's like, really? But whatever. Alpha Centauri, I think it's a leader they have. Oops. They no longer have an unemployed leader. They just have <coughs> that person. Okay. Beta Kali. How many? Ring A. What's Ring A got? It's down to five people, an unemployed leader. Do that. And give me uh, some stability. With that. And then Beta Kali. It's a bunch of unemployed pops. So a little bit of that here, and then we're going to resell some of them. Oh, we'll wait. Alright. Well, this has gone on long enough. It's been an hour, so... Um, folks... <sighs> from... <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Nope, we're, we're not going to... We're going to... We found our guys. We're going to go take them on. I want to see this be the end of the episode, right? Oh, these are Praethorn Scourge. Oh. Where does this, um... Oh, well, this may be a really bad idea. I think the Praethorn Scourge probably crushed those other people. Oh, that's okay. We got him. Okay. We're going to wait for our ship to come up there on its way. Uh, for us, we could go kind of try to take back some of this. It's down here. Oh, Fleet of the Damned. I don't care about that. Those are pirates. That's not my space. This is on conglomerate space. They can do whatever they want to. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it right here. I think this is a good place to end it. So, as always, guys, um, thanks for watching. If you dig the episode, give it a thumbs up. If you think the channel's cool, so maybe subscribe. And if you have questions, comment, drop it down below. We had a pretty bad start here, but I feel pretty good about how far this game has come. So, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.